This is an installation video for the M Carbo Marlin 60 trigger kit. The tools needed are a hammer, large and small screwdriver, needle nose pliers modified to be finer than normal, a paintbrush for grease, a bent paper clip in the shape of an L, a small finishing nail of an inch or one and a half inch, and a 130 seconds punch, as well as the kit with four springs and a few blocks of wood. Five pounds, 10 ounces. Yeah, five pounds, eight ounces. As always, first perform a safety check to ensure the gun is empty. Remove the stock. On a 60 with a wooden stock, be sure you remove the small screw and nut. Starting with the trigger guard, we'll press out the forward pin from right to left or towards the red on the safety button. Place the guard's safety buttons down. Tap out the pin and finish it with the nail. The stock spring pops out and here's the pin. Here's the kit return. It's a finer gauge wire. Put it in place, reinsert the pin. One end is deformed, so we'll turn that away and insert the smooth end in first. Compress the spring a little bit and move the trigger forward as the pin goes through. You can press it against the wood and tap it with the punch to make it flush. Verify the trigger works and the safety still works. Pull out this rear pin. Release the bolt and lift the mechanism right out. Remove the three retaining clips. Before pulling this plate off, we'll need to contain the hammer energy with the paper clip. The gun was cocked, so we'll enter through the hole on the hammer strut and release it. Now we can take the top plate off and remove the pieces from the gun. Remove the stock disconnector spring. This is the kit disconnector spring. One end has a long straight leg and the other has a short leg with a small 90 degree angle on it. We'll put the angled leg into the hole on the disconnector lever like so. The long straight leg goes through the hole on the plate. The wire shape is going straight through the plate, so bend it back onto itself with your thumb. It springs back about 45 degrees. Take the pliers and bend it down towards the plate forming a triangle with the spring and plate. Now take the spring and twist it sideways, so insert one jaw under the plate and one on top, pulling and squeezing towards the top of the plate, then cinching it down and setting it on the plate. Now the coil hugs the plate tight. Next is the hammer spring. Place the hammer on the table with the notch on the upper left. Push down and remove the paper clip. Out comes the stock spring. 
Insert the kit spring. Line them up and hook the clip in. Paint the groove in the sear with automotive or gun grease. Drop it in place like before. Next, we'll install the sear spring. This is the kit sear spring. Take the sear and put one loop over the post, then the spring. Now get the coil spring on there as well. It should look like that. Take this end and bring it up and over the large post. All three springs are installed. Now put the lifter spring up and insert the feed ramp into place. Put the buffer on. We've got our disconnector spring and our sear spring and the hammer spring in place. Bring the plate on top. It should drop into place. Make sure you align the metal tips of the attachment on the end of the hammer spring with both trigger assembly plates. Reapply the retainer rings. Next, we have to put the spring in place. We have a 16 penny nail with a fork ground into the end and we'll use it to push the spring down so it goes between these two pieces. Let this free end hang. On the back we can see it's under both of these in place. On this end there's a groove. We'll slide it into the groove. Last is the extension spring that goes onto the post. Now we can remove our paper clip. Our lifter spring is in place, disconnector is flat, sear spring is in place. Disconnector springs and moves freely. The lifter spring moves freely, so this mechanism is done. On our barreled action, our bolt is pulled back and locked. We'll cock the hammer and drop it in. Install the plastic pin on the back. Next, install the trigger guard into the stock. The barreled action drops onto the stock. The short screw goes in the front. The long screw goes in the rear. Three pounds, 13.1 ounces. Three pounds, 14.7 ounces.